Hey everyone, it's Houndex here and welcome back to another video. With the new 2022 release of the Lenovo Legion Pro, you may be wondering whether if it's worth buying right now. In this video, I'll be comparing the new Lenovo Legion 5 Pro against last year's 5 Pro to cover some key differences and improvements between these two models uh, that you should know in order to help you decide which one's more worth buying. Now, if this video does help you out and you're interested in more content like this, feel free to subscribe as it's the best way to support me and roughly 1% of my watch time comes from subscribers, so it really does help me a lot. Also, I know that I haven't been uploading that much lately, but I just want to say that I'm finally back and I'm looking forward to uploading a ton of content in the future. Now starting off, I'm going to be comparing the main differences between this year's Lenovo Legion 5 Pro compared to last year's 5 Pro. Now, before I get into the specs comparison, it's important to note that the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro is often referred by its generation. When you do a quick search on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro or look up its prices, you will often see this. Gen 7 is basically the 2022 model and Gen 6 is the 2021 model. Now here's a specs comparison for the AMD variant of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. On the left side I have the 2022 model and on the right side I have the 2021 model. Now there are three main differences in the specs. In the newer 2022 model, it uses the newer Ryzen 6000 series processors and essentially they come in at a higher turbo boost clock speed compared to the previous generation 5000 series processors. The newer 2022 model also comes with an RTX 3070 Ti uh, with a higher wattage of 150 watts and it comes with DDR5 4800 MHz RAM instead of DDR4 from last generation. Intel, on the other hand, features a slightly different architecture for their newer 12th gen CPUs compared to AMD. They come with both performance cores and efficiency cores. Performance cores are essentially more powerful and have hyperthreading while efficiency cores do not have hyperthreading and are essentially smaller than performance cores. Because of this technology, the 12th gen Intel processors are able to offer a huge performance improvement over their last year 11th gen counterparts. Other than the CPU, everything else is pretty much the same compared to the AMD variant. Hardware specs set aside, however, there are actually a few other changes in this year's model compared to last year's model that's good to know. First of all, one of the most obvious changes in this year's model compared to last year's Lenovo Legion Pro 5 Pro is the logo at the front. Instead of that massive Y logo that's RGB lit, it now just has the text Legion. This text does not light up in RGB like last year's model did and it's also slightly smaller and less massive than last year's look. Personally, I prefer this design over last year's design because it just looks more minimalistic and not really like a flashy gaming laptop. Other than that, when it comes to design, the IO is pretty much almost the same with a couple of minor changes. I'll put up some comparisons between these two laptops. And even if we look at the internals, they are pretty much the same between these two laptops. There's no like new features in this new 2022 model, like an extra M.2 slot or something like that. It's all the same. Now, something I should point out is that the Wi-Fi antennas for the 2022 Lenovo H5 Pro have been moved to the front, and this has caused the laptop to have slower internet speeds compared to last year's model, which had the Wi-Fi antennas at the back part of the laptop. This is to be expected since w when you're using the laptop, you're likely going to put your hands on the front area where you, when you type in all that stuff. So it will interfere with the Wi-Fi antennas at the front area for this year's Lenovo Legion. Now, what about performance? Well, you may be surprised to hear that the difference between this year's Lenovo Legion 5 Pro's performance compared to last year's is actually smaller than you think. Just to clarify here, are the CPU and GPU specs uh, used in the comparisons for the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro's. Now when it comes to games, as you can see from the results, the difference between these two laptops are very small, despite the newer 2022 model having the RTX 3070 Ti and the better Intel i7 12th gen CPU. There are actually some cases where the 2021 model outperformed the 2022 model. This was very surprising to see. Now it could be that these games are not very well optimized to these new hardware changes and maybe they need some updating to adjust them or it could be something wrong with Lenovo. Either way, I think the better hardware in the newer 2022 model should be offering much higher performance than the 2021 model. Now overall, which one's more worth it? This year's Lenovo Legion 5 Pro or last year's? If you're in the decision of picking one of the two right now at this point in time, I'd recommend last year's 5 Pro. 
When it comes to pricing, you can easily find last year's model for much lower price and get way better value than this year's model. Unless if you can find this year's model on sale right now for a similar or lower price than an equivalent last year's model, then last year's 5 Pro is just going to be the better option. In my opinion, this year's 5 Pro just doesn't have enough new features and improvements to make it worth spending more money to buy it. You can clearly see it from the benchmarks. Now if you're someone who wants to boost gaming performance for your Lenovo Legion, then stay tuned as I'm going to upload an updated 2022 guide to boost FPS for the Lenovo Legion. So I hope you found this video helpful in any way. Please do leave a like on my video as it really helps me out a lot and it also helps get this content shown to more people so they can learn from it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to get subscribed if you want to see that updated 2022 optimization guide for the Lenovo Legion. With that said, I'll see you all in the next one.